name is Eric, and welcome to my first YouTube video. Honda doesn't offer the VersaTool here in the United States, so I decided to build my own. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Honda four-stroke engine from their HHT35S trimmer and mount it to the steel Kami system shaft. For today's project, you're going to need a Honda trimmer. I have a Honda four-stroke model HHT35S. This is a 35cc engine. You'll need the steel Kami system outer drive shaft tube assembly that connects to the power unit head, the inner drive shaft, which attaches to the steel Kami system attachments, the steel coupling, which allows you to fasten the attachment to the upper drive shaft, the lower drive shaft, which attaches to the actual trimmer head, and optionally, a little grip coupling or spacer, which goes between the handle and the loop for a harness. I will also provide the part numbers for these parts, so you can purchase them separately and build your own in the bottom of the YouTube video. The tools you'll need for today's project will be an 8mm socket, a Phillips head screwdriver, the steel Torx wrench T70, T27 or a T27 bit, and a hex wrench. start off, we're going to use the Phillips head screwdriver to loosen up the handle, the loop, and the throttle cable trigger assembly. Now that everything's loose, I'm going to loosen up and remove the Phillips head screwdriver, which is right located here, and the hex screw here. Now that I loosened up the screw and the hex screw, I'm going to remove the power unit head and throttle assembly from the drive shaft by pulling out and wiggling. Now I'm going to remove the loop by sliding it off. And finally, the handle. Next, I'm going to remove the trimmer drive shaft assembly. This you'll need the 8mm socket for. There are three bolts here that you'll need to loosen up. And I loosened up these bolts. I should be able to remove the trimmer drive shaft from the trimmer. Drive shaft assembly two. The tube you can sell or discard, it's not necessary for this project. 
First, we're going to take the lower drive shaft tube assembly and mount it to the trimmer gearbox. Um, the Honda trimmers have three bolts, uh, two here to compress the assembly to the actual shaft, and a third to center it. The steel lower drive shaft does not include a hole to center the actual trimmer drive shaft tube assembly, so I'm going to remove that and put place that aside. I'm going to take the protective end off. Already greased and ready to go. I'm going to insert this into the gearbox assembly. And once that fits down there, make sure you have that centered. There's an arrow right here, which you can use to center the actual gearbox assembly where it will insert into the coupling for the top drive shaft tube assembly. Once centered, use your 8mm wrench to fasten it down and secure it to the shaft. Now, you have your Honda gearbox assembly attached to your steel copy system lower drive shaft. This you can now place aside. Now I'm going to assemble the upper drive shaft as it comes in several pieces. You have the upper drive shaft too. You'll note there's a hole here. This hole indicates that it goes into the actual engine. This hole down here is where the inner shaft coupling connects. So I'm first going to take the lower drive shaft in the upper. This is pre-greased from steel, so what I have to do is take the solid drive shaft and stick it into the hole. I'd recommend twisting it so that the grease is coating the entire lower drive shaft or upper drive shaft as you insert it. And when you get to the actual coupling, align it. And there's a little tab which you'll have to push down on. And voila. You'll see this side is now able to go into the engine. But we still have to attach the coupling which is used to attach a lower drive shaft to the Kami extensions. There's a tab right here and there's a groove right here to align them and center them as you uh, push them in. You'll take your T27 steel tool and tighten down the coupling to the upper drive shaft. Once snug you can then put on all the pieces for your upper drive shaft. First, you want to start with the coupling, which is optional. Now that we have the coupling attached to the upper drive shaft, I'm going to take the coupling spacer and slide it down towards the coupling. Next, you want to make sure before assembling anything to the engine that you put in your loop handle you can slide on. Push down. Make sure you don't lose your screws. And your loop, which will be used for your harness if you're using any of the heavier tools. recommend tightening these screws just slightly so they don't fall off. 
now that I have the coupling, spacer, handle, and loop for the harness, I'm going to put the throttle trigger and slide it onto the tube. And you'll notice here on the Honda engine there is a bolt to tighten the actual surrounding area to compress on the upper drive shaft, but there's also a screw to center the drive shaft. Since the steel combi upper drive shaft does not have an eyelet hole to center the upper drive shaft in the engine, I'm removing this screw as it's not necessary. I'm going to insert the shaft into the upper drive shaft tube assembly. Once fully inserted, tighten up the hex screw here to tighten it around the drive shaft. Next, you'll want to tighten the throttle cable assembly. You want to tighten the loop, which you want roughly an inch away. Just using the Phillips head screwdriver. And finally, you want to tighten the handle. Once these are tightened, we can test it out, see how it works. So now everything has been assembled, tightened, and we're ready to give it a dry run. So I'm going to take the protective sleeve, or cap, off the lower shaft. You'll see these little coupling with a groove and a notch that align with the groove and notch and the actual coupling on the power head. As I insert them, you'll see there's an arrow, which has to meet at this line right here, and then all I do is tighten her down. She's in there. Let's go ahead and get this started and give it a dry run. Honda four-stroke engine with the steel combi attachments and not have to deal with mixing fuel with oil and two cycle and you want the Honda reliability here you go enjoy <laughs>